he could be Paul Anka's friend. Yeah. He had to find out what your name was. I know. Yeah, yeah you didn't introduce yeah, yourself. No one knows my real name. Yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of the listeners do at this point, but like, yeah, but a guest didn't... wouldn't know my real no. name. Dude, this is so much better than Greg Brady. A Paul Anka friendship is way better than a Greg Brady friendship. Yeah. Should've yeah. Called him last night and see if he wanted could, to go see Colin with make, you. Maybe I could check out uh, Bel Air again. I bet you can. That's get where it. Greg Brady used to live. You can he get with oh, his very. <laughs> what? What happened? Not anymore. Why doesn't he live in Bel Air anymore? Well, you know, he, he got a divorce. Oh. And I learned over the years that uh, he might have been living in Bel Air because of his wife. Oh no! His wife had money. Maybe she became the breadwinner after. Uh, the Brady, the Brady Bunch reunions dried up. Yeah, he he lived in Bel Air at the top of one of those mountains overlooking everything. Not anymore. That was a past tense. Everything. Live. But he invited me over to his house, gave me his address and everything. That's sick. I remember being in L.A. driving up uh, this this like mini mountain in mm -hmm. Bel Air, mm -hmm. and looking at the numbers of the houses, mm -hmm. you know, trying to find where Greg Brady lives. And I called uh, I called a really good friend of mine, freaking out like a little fucking schoolgirl. I'm going to Greg Brady's house. I'm like, house. you're not gonna believe this. What? I'm I'm driving to Greg Brady's house. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tell people. I gotta tell someone now. And then I and then I called. Uh, look, Brady Bunch is on TV as I speak, or some weird fucking uh, commercial for the Brady Bunch, or some fucking. They're using a uh, <laughs> a Mr. Brady clip for some. L Publishers clearing out. Yeah, is that what that is? All right. yeah. Anyway, so then I called family member. I, I started calling everyone I know mm -hmm. as I was getting closer to Greg Brady's house. <laughs> I, I needed everyone to know where I was headed. Where are you at right now? Yeah, I'm just uh, right. I'm just on my way to Greg Brady's right. house. And then I parallel parked in front of a ridiculous looking, a ridiculously, uh, a ridiculous looking house. Mm -hmm. And then I walked up to the 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 gates, and I had to push the button. And uh, and then uh, he he's on the other end. I'm like, hey, hey, Barry, it's Opie. Oh, you made it great. Let me budge you in. And then I'm just gulping as I'm walking up the sidewalk going, I'm walking into Greg Brady's house. Yeah. It was the most surreal thing ever. It did, was so fucked up. Did he have Brady Bunch memorabilia on display? Oh, yeah. A lot of it? Yeah, but he had the Brady Bunch episodes, I remember. Uh, he had all his Brady Bunch episodes on VHS tapes. I, I <laughs> always thought that was strange. Is he watching them? Hey, honey, and this was about another... this was about ten years ago. But I mean, people were definitely, you know, in the DVD world. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I also thought if you're Greg Brady and you were on the Brady Bunch, you know, they had other ways to, you know, uh, save this shit. Sure. But he was still in the VHS world. They were all taped off TV. <laughs> right. So, huh. and then I went back to Greg Brady's house another time, and that's when. I had the famous uh, leftovers because I kind of came unannounced. <laughs> hey, Greg. Well, hey, I, my, name, my, my name's Barry. Yeah, Greg. All right. right. Great. <laughs> I went up there with my friend Jay, who moved out to L.A., and I, I was out in L.A. I'm, I'm like, hey, why don't we go? Uh, why don't we go say hi to Greg Brady? Yeah. So, <laughs> why don't we go say hi? I know where he lives. Don't well, even worry about well, it. Because at this point, I'm like, now I gotta take someone to Greg Brady's house. Of course. <laughs> Now that I've been there, now I gotta take someone else. And did he give you that open invite? Like, hey, come back anytime. Yeah, so I called you him. You said it. And it, he's a really nice guy. Well, when he came to New York, I, I had dinner with him as well with a, a few people. He's a really nice guy. I'm kind of bummed we've lost touch over the last few years. But anyway, um, so then I I, uh, I call him up. He goes, yes, come on over. We're about to you know have a little dinner or something. I'm like, all right, great. So I, I went with my friend Jay, and he invited us in again. And we had cocktails out overlooking everything with an infinity pool. Ridiculous yeah. spot. And uh, and then I remember being in his house as him and his wife at the time are looking in the fridge trying to figure out what they're going <laughs> to what they're gonna, uh, we gotta serve feed, us. We got to feed these guys. Well, I don't know. You didn't tell me they were coming. I didn't know they were coming. Right. And uh, <laughs> Greg Brady had a beautiful, like, pasta dish. Yeah. That was fresh, freshly made, and his wife, same thing. And then I had <laughs> the leftovers. They didn't have enough pasta for you. <laughs> I'd have to go back into the archives because I, I used to tell people what I had that day. Do you remember, Iraq? No, I don't. I think I remember there was some kind of peas in it. You'd be surprised, Opie. It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. Right. But I do remember them looking into the fridge and, and you know, 
I remember thinking, oh, fuck. We gotta, we gotta, they don't have enough food. We got to try to figure out what's here, cool but... enough to, to, to serve me. Do you think this caused their divorce? I don't know. I have no idea what caused their <laughs> divor divorce. Your friends just keep showing up? No, I only I was only there, I think, twice, maybe three times. How did you lose touch? It just time went by and you just didn't talk to him? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that. Well, you don't need him anymore. You have Paul Anka in your life. <laughs> I mean, we're friends, but not friends' friends. Yeah. Like, I got friends. I have, you know, like anyone else, I have friends, and you don't see them for a bunch of years, and then all of a sudden you see them, and you just pick up where you were. You should I text him. We weren't on that level. You should text him again and pretend you were. Yeah. Text him and be like, yo, Barry, what up? Let's, I don't, you know, I think I have his number. If it's still the same. That I don't ago. even know if it is. Uh, I'll be completely honest with you. I saw him a few years ago at a convention. It was right. The same one where Virgil fucked up my million dollar belt. <laughs> and uh, he signed a belt that I didn't ask him <laughs> to sign. And uh, Barry's table. <laughs> oh, we're calling him. <laughs> He's, he's on L.A. time, so it's like three in the morning. Yeah, quarter to four in the morning right now. I hope it's someone else. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could be. Yeah. Changed the numbers. Oh. Hey, you've reached the original Greg Brady. <laughs> Say what? That's him. That sounds like him. I didn't hear beep. Where's the beep part? Where's, where's the beep? Where's the beep? Unless maybe that was, maybe this is an answering machine. Did your Yo, phone Barry. What? Barry. What is going on? <laughs> What's up, Barry? It's not an answering machine. It's not an I thought it was an answer machine. You what? <laughs> <laughs> Barry, this is Opie. How are you, sir? Uh, where are you? Uh, you wouldn't know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in uh, New York City. It's it's nice and uh, bright here. Uh huh. <laughs> it's not. It, it's going to be six o'clock at some point. <laughs> <laughs> where are you? Missouri. Ah, oh. the Brady Brunch. Yeah, you're still doing the Brady br uh, Brunch, right? No, I'm not doing that anymore. Oh. So what are you I've doing? Gone, I've, go I've gone non-Brady. <laughs> oh, you're doing non-Brady in Branson. Yeah, I think it's called um, 70s Music Explosion. Uh, no, 70s Music Celebration. Nice. Yeah, so it's all 70s music. It's it's all stuff before your time. Oh. I hear you. I was uh, just uh, reminiscing about you on the show this morning, and I said, I, I, I'm, I'm going to call Barry Williams and see if his number still works. Yeah, you said you, you said to yourself, hey, let's, let's give that, 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 that guy uh, the scare of his life and uh, call him, wake him up, get <laughs> him out of bed, and start razzing him. No, I'm not razzing you. I'm just saying hi. I know. Very different. And I, know, and I know you could. Listen, I miss you guys. I, 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 things are going well. I'll come, I'll, I, I got to come by the studio. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to let you go back to sleep. I'm, I'm very happy that you haven't changed your number. And we're going to do this proper next time you're in New York City. Obi? Yeah. Do not be giving this number out to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever? You know, you have. You've been a good guardian of it for these for these for these many years. Yeah. If I start getting calls, <laughs> no, you're not going to get calls. I'm going to come out there and get you. No, you're not going to get calls, sir. It's all good. Okay, great. All right, buddy. All right, man. We'll talk soon. I've never in touch. All right. Bye. See, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Friendship back on. There you go. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah! What a moment. I think this makes the podcast. I really do, Sam. The OP. This is strong. This is a strong segment for the podcast. The OP Greg Brady friendship is back. He was so pissed, but he's also how great was He's also a... smart enough to know that he was on the air. He knew he was on the air. Oh yeah, that would yeah, be a very different pissed. conversation if uh, he wasn't on the air. How he wouldn't funny. have answered if he was pissed. How funny was it? 
the realization that that was not in <laughs> voicemail. <laughs> Say what? I totally thought it was. I thought it was the coolest voicemail ever. It's just say what? Like, where I be? thought he finally figured out the voicemail thing. And then he's just on the phone not saying anything while we're all saying, where's the beep? Right. <laughs> oh, Anthony just wrote, hilarious, holy fuck. This is great. What a morning. What a morning for broadcasting. <laughs> Anthony just wrote, hilarious, holy fuck. Let's see. And then Dr. Steve. Oh, and Dr. Steve is mad at my gift. And how I'm talking about his shitty gifts. Well, his gifts are shitty, and Paul Anka's gifts are not. Step it up. He just wrote, I don't know, that decanter sounds perfect for some suck my uh, Pinot Noir. Tell Dr. Steve you don't need him anymore. Greg Brady is back in your life. I'm not going to lie. I was a little scared there. I would imagine. I was a little scared. I thought he was going to get really fucking mad. Because I actually really do like the guy. He's a, he, he's a solid guy. He's all right, Barry Williams. Keep on, keep on. Keep on. Yeah. Are you going to go visit his house in Branson? Uh, Holy shit. When we do the bus trip. Supposedly the bus trip is on. Yeah. I was given a date, actually, uh, a couple days ago. I forgot to mention that on the air. Yeah. Did they want you to mention it on the air? Uh, sometime in September, I could say that much. Okay. Yeah. But they asked if uh, I'm going to be available. And I said, hell yeah. And if he's still in Branson, Missouri, we're going to hook up and become friends again. Not only are we going to hook up, we're doing a show from his driveway. How do you like that? Greg? That's right. <laughs> That's right. How do you like that? You said any time. We're doing a show from your driveway. Yeah. Johnny Bravo is going to be... What's his name? Johnny Bravo? Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo is going to be performing. Tell him to get those tight bell bottoms on. I'm sure he still fits into them. Now I'm going to have to call I'm him later. Him right now. I'm going to have to call him later and apologize. <laughs> but that whole say what thing, I'm waiting for the beep, and he's sitting there wondering what the fuck's going on. I never... It's five... It's it's an hour ahead in Brandon. Oh, it's not that bad. No. So it's like quarter to six when he picked up the phone. Oh, that's not bad. But if I haven't spoken to you in years, yeah, it's... and it's quarter to six and my phone rings, yeah. I'm not picking up the phone. Yeah. Somebody better have died. Well, that's why I just shut off my phone. I actually lost a friend. Uh, I just found out last night. Dead? Yeah. One of my fraternity brothers. That sucks. Just wanna, I just want to mention Bob uh, Bob Pelkey today. He's He was a solid, solid fucking dude, man. And uh, he died, I think, two nights ago. How'd he go out? Ah, uh, sketchy. We're still trying to figure it all out, but he was a solid, solid dude. Because I know, I know, I have a lot of uh, people that listen to us in Rochester, New York, where he's from, and uh, I just want to, I, I just want to let the people know he was a great, great dude, man, and he will be missed. Whole fraternity brother of mine. Yeah, I got the message as I was leaving Colin Quinn's uh, show last night. Had you spoken to him in a while? Uh, uh, honestly, no, I'm not going to sit here and make believe I did. I mean, you know, we lost touch because I, I moved out of that area. Right. But I probably talked to him a couple years ago. About was the last time. Really, really good guy, man. Always fucking laughing and smiling, just having a fucking great time wherever the fuck he was. So, Bob Pelkey, you will be missed. It's a good thing you're increasing your, your friendship level then now. What do you mean? Well, now you got Greg Brady back in your life, so it's like... Do you think I got Greg Brady back in my life? 100%. I mean, that... And possibly a, a Paul uh, Anka friendship is blooming I mean, right in front uh, of everyone's eyes here? Paul Anka is desperate for the friendship. <laughs> At this <laughs> point, you're I, the pretty girl. Paul Anka, it's... It, uh, I don't know. It could be creepy, but it could be just old school. This is what old school people used to do. Yeah, but it is old school. I think that's where the motivation is, that it's old school. But nobody does that anymore. Yeah. So I also think old school is like you could see a TV host or a big show host and a guest become like famous people friends. Mm -hmm. Like that probably happened more in the old school than now because now everybody has a show. So Paul Anka is like of the mindset where it's possible and feasible that Opie or Greg, as he knows him. Right. Becomes friends and they share a nice glass of whiskey from a decanter that he bought him. But I think he's coming in next Tuesday. Now it's going to be a little strange. Of course. It, well, it was strange anyway. Why the fuck is Do he I have to acknowledge so he gave me a gift? Oh, yeah. You should. And then <laughs> you think he's going to be more like, oh, that's no big deal. That's just what... Uh, no, you know what? That's just, just what the Rat Pack used to do. Don't acknowledge it, but have the decanter and the glasses in front of you. 
Oh, don't say anything about it. <laughs> With some fresh orange juice in the decanter? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just put your coffee in there. Put some juice in there. You know what? I'm going to do that. Mid-interview. Anybody need some OJ and just start pouring out, you know? The, but we can only have tiny glasses of OJ, obviously. <laughs> it's, a, it's a small decanter. <laughs> of course. Uh, I, I'm so not a drinker, I don't even know what you put in this. I'm telling you, OJ. Anthony will be able to tell me. It's usually whiskey. Or yeah, scotch. I think it's probably whiskey. a little whiskey, a little scotch, scotch. Whiskey, some hard shit, right? Yeah. yeah, some of that hard shit. Whatever you just want to have a pinch of. Barry Williams was in a panic. He thought I, he I didn't would, know what was going on. He thought I was in full radio bit mode, and I was about to give his phone number out to the <laughs> to the, the audience. audience. Yeah. Well, it's good to know that number still works. That's so funny that you I'm sure the up. home number doesn't work anymore. If you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> somebody will pick it up. We yeah. should bring Paul on the bus trip, but nobody in Branson. I wonder who else. Yeah, I got nothing to do. Yeah. How <laughs> great. I could go down and see Greg Brady. How there. great is that going to be when we pull up to Greg Brady's driveway <laughs> yeah. and do the Opie and Anthony show in his driveway? Uh, and then we invite him on for a segment and then be like, they're telling us you got to go. That would be very nice. See, what would be great about that is you could just be totally pushy. Yeah. And, like, you're in the driveway, and obviously you're going to do an interview with him. And then you go, why don't you show us around the house? And now he's got to show you around his house. He's got to bring you in the garage. Anthony's coming down the hall. He's got to be jealous. He's a big Brady Bunch guy. Wow, that sounded really shitty. I thought the records slowed down, but I think that's just how shitty the kids sounded back then. They're not, they were never strong singers. Uh, by the way, as Anthony's making his way in, don't forget my latest elevator show is up in... Uh, all the uh, usual places. You put it on the Facebook page, it's on E-Rock? The Facebook, yeah. All right, cool. How great was that? He's so pissed. Did you hear this? You could tell he's so pissed. Or sighted. He was pissed. <laughs> he was so was... pissed, but he also knew, fuck, I can't say anything because I'm, yeah. I'm on the air and I'm going to just look like an asshole. Dude, there was a point where he, uh, he was like ready to yell at you. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. You heard it in his voice. I'm scared. Not a joke. He was ready to fucking. I know. I'm you. scared now. Because he goes, "You call me for nothing." Right. But then, right at that moment that Ant's talking about. Well, it was a goof. I didn't even know if the number worked. So well, why realize, not try it out live on the air? That's probably when realization set in that oh shit, he's got me on the air. Yeah, yeah. I can't yell at him. Right. Because I'll sound like a dick. And you hear him, Opie. Opie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Opie. He lowered his voice, Opie. There was that what? You're, like what? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, he was mad. You're not going to give this number out to anyone, are you? I'm yeah. like, look, I've, I've been cool. You know, I've had that number probably 10 years at this point. Dude, I thought he was in L.A. I know. I was like, oh, my God. And I'm, I'm thinking, like, fucking 3.30 in the morning. Right, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, uh, and he's got, he's got kids, right? Does he? Um, yeah. I'm sure he's got loved ones. Yeah, he's he lives with somebody. Marsha, probably. Yeah. I, said, Cindy, you know. I said, um, because I think his kids would be, you know, obviously a bit older now. I'm trying to figure out how old his uh, kid or kids would be. But that early morning phone call is never good. It's never Greg Opie Hughes calling for the, you know, I love radio it. show. But you hear the, I thought it was his voicemail. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You know? That would have been a cool voicemail. Right. <laughs> Say what? Say what? So they were sitting there like, all right, where's the beep? I just want to quickly say, hey, it's open. I just want to see if this number's yeah, going to yeah. work. Call me later. And then all of a sudden it turns out it's him. Say what? You've reached the real Greg Braid. Oh, okay. All Opie. right. I love the Opie. Opie. I'm, I might be Greg Brady, but I will yeah. have you killed, okay? <laughs> yeah. I know people. He's going to say, he knows Buddy Hinton's pretty badass, and he probably knows him to come beat you up. It's right. going to be 6 a.m. eventually. I yeah, guess. eventually. <laughs> it's like, where are you? Oh, Branson. <laughs> I, I felt bad for him, though, when he said he was in Branson, because Opie had just gotten over talking about his house in the hills in <laughs> yes. California. Bel Air. Was probably yeah. his wife. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Bel Air, Branson. man. This place was oh, ridiculous. That's the Fresh Prince lived. That's right. Right. Yes. And, oh, there, were, and there was great Brady stuff all over the house. Uh, Brady Bunch stuff all over the house. Oh, God. Now he's just overlooking Yakov's Dinner Theater. Uh, and then he had a, a nice <laughs> home entertainment um, system. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. But then he had all his VHS tapes of the Brady Bunch right there. VHS Brady I Bunch. I swear to God, it was so all VHS. So he could pull out any episode at oh, any yeah. time. Oh, Boom, yeah. Greg caught smoking. Yeah, but it's you, right there. Boom, we stole the goat mascot. Right. Right the fuck there. Boom, boom, the fucking UFO episode and the whistle yeah. in the house episode. Yeah. So wow. that's the but difference. you got to th you, you have to think they could have had a better way to fucking archive that shit. Yeah, you'd think. When you had Greg Brady, he's over there with his VHS yeah. collection of Brady Bunch tapes watching every episode. 
Peter comes in. Oh my god! And he's winging baseballs at people for bringing up the Brady Bunch. <laughs> 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 uh, boy, they sure did uh, grow did up have, differently. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we did have uh, Peter Brady on too. Wicked uh, baseball. <laughs> yeah, forgot that? about that. Yeah, who yeah. threw the baseball at us? Peter. That was Peter Brady. Yeah, but he just tossed it, and then and then his broad at the time had to make it sound like it was way more than oh, that. Yeah. Oh, and Curry played it up. Yeah, well, yeah. Is that that's Adrian Curry. Not Adrian. Adrian. Adrian Curry. And, who's Ann Curry? Ann Curry's the Asian uh, oh. that got fired from the Today Show. Oh. Yeah, she decided to trash yeah. us a little bit and said I even threw a baseball at those guys really hard. I'm like, no, you didn't. Stop misrepresenting what happened that day. Wasn't true. To make yourself look a little cooler. No, look out. It wasn't true. Peter Brady, very upset uh, this morning. And then, Ant, you miss out on the Paul Anka gifts because you weren't here that day. I heard. <laughs> I'm pretty jealous. I thought this was cologne. Feel how heavy this is. Because he promised us cologne just because me and Jimmy that day said, wow, you smell really good. The wonderful Cov cologne. <laughs> Cov, I know. <laughs> Fucking idiot. It's so My brain uh, just doesn't work this early. Uh, I fucking, swear I, sp I speak way better like, later in the day. Sounds like, ah, I think it's cold. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's really nice. It's crystal. A crystal yeah. decanter and then four crystal glasses. That is an old school Rat Pack guy gift right there. It yeah. is, right? That's like, yeah, you fill that up. You know what, though? I'm going to eBay this shit. What can I get? A couple hundred bucks you, off it? Dude. Uh, dude with the Paul Anka card? I'll, I'll have him it. sign it when it gets in here? You can't. It's already signed. You no, can't. I'm going to have him sign the actual fucking oh, boxes. The decanter. You can't. Why? Because let me tell you what old school Paul Anka is expecting. He's expecting to come in here, that decanter to be full of booze, you to put out a couple of glasses yeah. and have a drink with the man. So why don't we fill it up with, like, some freshly squeezed OJ? <laughs> some kale juice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I'm sure you'd love that. Some yeah, new age. Some kale yeah. juice. I'm going to have Sweet this. grass. I swear I'm going to have this on display on Tuesday. That's like bringing a marble rye over and yeah. then the people not putting it out. Right. For ah, you to enjoy. Yes. Yeah. We'll have it for breakfast tomorrow. Right, yes. right. Why, well, huh? That's we, rude. We have to have a really nice display with the crystal decanter. Oh, yeah. When he comes in. I think it's uh, next Tuesday. What's he Booze. doing coming back here? Yeah, that is weird. It's kind of weird. He's I mean, just here. Well, Roland goes, I, I swear, he just wants to come back because he had so much fun. I'm like, that doesn't happen with these guys. They, like I said, the Roger Daltrey story I just told, he forgot me a, a mere oh my two God. hours or, uh, later. Paul Anka would have been, like, chasing you down the street. <laughs> right. Opie, you'd have been like, oh, wow, well, yeah, take it easy. Roger, Opie, Opie and Anthony, you uh, did. Uh, uh, all right, well, have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it was. I don't know, Paul. We talked to a lot of guests. I don't really recall yeah, you. Uh, right? I think Paul, Paul. My dad would be fucking impressed. Oh, my God, right? Yeah, mine would, too. And look, they're, he used my dead. real name and everything. It's terrible. I know. Oh, look, real name. Greg. Two Gs. So he, what's that about? That's getting personal. That's homework. Who did he ask? Fast forward. I'm playing golf and just laughing it up with Paul oh, in Beverly God. Hills somewhere. It is an old school gesture, but it is also a little bit sad that he's like, "This is these are the new guys." <laughs> let, me, let me tell you, let me tell you about the time Sammy and Frank, right? And Dean and Dino were hanging out, and you're just like, "Yeah, I'm trying to tee off here, Paul." Right. A little quiet, Paul, would, relax, okay? A little quiet would be nice. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with another stupid Rat Pack story in a second, <laughs> but I need complete silence when right. I tee off. Sinatra, Kumia. <laughs> right, right. He just expands the whole Rat Pack. Right. It's a bit uh, of a drop yeah. off from uh, Dean and Frank. Dean, yeah. Frank. Now it's Opie, Anthony, and Jim Norton. Norton. <laughs> Norton. Dean, Frank, Norton. <laughs> Norton, Kumia, and Opie. Oh, uh, boy. What? You know, Greggy Hughes. Uh, what? It doesn't quite work. Should we call Barry back to make sure he's not... Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the first time he called him, I was cringing in the car. Isn't that like, the worst? I'm no fucking way he's actually calling. <laughs> just just call him and say, hey, uh, hey, Barry, I just wanted to make sure you're not mad at me, are you? It was terrible. Just, just no. tell him you're over it. When I was getting all like, like my stomach was getting upset when it was ringing. Right. Yeah, I'm like, please just have be the number you have reached is no longer in service. I was whole, I was begging for that. And then how big of a cringe was it when it was the moment? I don't think that's an answering machine. He was right. listening to that. Yeah, he was listening to you guys go. I didn't hear a peep. Three guys Say in here. What? Say uh, what? Three guys Say in here what? giggling. Yeah, he know it's on speaker. He heard all of us. Oh, I know. Yeah. Say what? I'm like, okay, that's cool. Where's yeah. the beep? I'll get out of this quick. I was I was praying he wasn't gonna answer. 
Why would he? It's, six, it's five o'clock in the morning. Who keeps his stupid cell phone on? You think he's whatever happens in the middle of the night can wait till the morning. He thinks it's his big break again. Oh. His, his next big break. He's laying in a room in Branson, Missouri. It looks exactly like the room Tom Hanks was in in Big. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking red light blinking, a little fucking bed. I got the top bunk. And he's like, oh my god, not the loft, the shitty apartment yeah. that he had, oh, that, that like the, halfway house with what? the with the gunfire gun outside. Yeah, and yeah. He's licking Oreo cream off oh, the Oreos and the fucking phone rings and it's it's opie and he's just like oh my god you think he was he was worried that he was getting bad news about uh, jan or something <laughs> or, his, or his gig his fucking 60s musical explosion no, 70s uh, oh, musical explosion it's 70s music explosion yes. hey barry it's opie yeah i'm coming to branson yeah i'm taking your theater though sorry uh, buddy i'm taking your gig uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna broadcast from his driveway we've decided uh, yeah. when we do the bus tour do you think he's on stage i want to know what he does I wonder how you're feeling, this ringing in my ears, <laughs> and no one. I'm, I'm sure this is a little promo <laughs> video for his new show. Oh, God, Let's please. find out. What's he doing? We definitely have to stop in on uh, Of Branson. course we're going to stop That in. would be rude to go all the way to Branson and not I stop actually, in and say hi. I actually really liked him. He was very cool. And He's look, been nothing but a gentleman. He loved doing our show. Yeah. He, he, be, he was a regular back in the NEW days. Not so much uh, since we came back to Satellite for whatever reason. Well, wait till we broadcast in oh, his motherfucking man. driveway. I Remember think he was I, on yeah. once, maybe, when we first began back up. and. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. And then when he came to New York, he would call me up, and uh, we'd go out to dinner and stuff. He was really, really just a solid, solid dude. Do you remember when he uh, came on our show and performed I'm Greg Brady, Yes, I'm the Real Brady? I sure do. Uh, live. Uh -huh. He didn't just have the fucking DVD or CD and fucking... He sang it right. live Why? that day. Why? You got the live version <laughs> oh that he God, did? It's amazing. Yeah, we'll play it to break. All right, we're going to play minutes. it for, uh, uh, to, to break. And he also was in one day when we had a couple having sex in the corner. Oh, oh boy. Do you remember? Celebration. For, uh, yes. For the yes. old school people. Was that christening the rug? Yeah, we wanted to christen a brand new rug that the company got us because the old rug yeah. was so shitty, stained, and they finally yeah. decided to put a new rug in, and we decided the only way to show our appreciation was to have a couple come in and have sex on the rug. And Greg oh, Brady yeah. was in that day. Yep. And... And we're talking to him, and he's like, wait a minute, why aren't you guys fucking acknowledging what's happening in the corner? I'm like, we saw so much sex and nudity that at that point. It didn't we, matter. There was we actual give a sex fuck happening? Yes, oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Just were, full on oh, sex. Full on, on sex on as we were just doing a radio show like we're doing today. Oh, but let me tell you something. They're putting a new rug here in this studio. I say we do the same thing, only a little different. We'll have uh, each of us with bowls of really uh, full bowls of soup. Yeah. And we'll try to walk across Ooh, the, wow. the room and see if we spill any on the carpet. That's just as good. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they will not let us christen the new rug with a couple having sex anymore. Do the egg on the spoon raise? Ooh, Don't drop the egg. It'll that, the oh, yolk will cool. splash on the carpet. So nervous. Now, what's this? This is a 70s music celebration starring Barry Williams. Okay, so this is his new That's show. That's his trailer, right? This is what he's doing in Branson. All right, this is his trailer. Let's, right, let's promote, hear. Uh, Greg Brady for the people that are close to Branson, Missouri, or we're planning a trip to Branson, Missouri. Music celebration starring Barry Williams. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. He's got a coat slung over his shoulder. He's dancing. He's got dancers. Look, he plays the guitar. This is great. Kung Fu fighting. This is great. He's got a vest. Why is he not Big Wheel? Oh, 70. Mass fire. <laughs> Call now for tickets and the phone number. There you go. I want to see that. We got to see that show. I want to see that. Is there any other videos from please, that show? Please, please, I beg you, be more videos. That's just a quick little, <laughs> I hear hey, this is what I'm song. doing and this is how you get tickets. I want to hear another song <laughs> by Barry Williams. I love this stuff. <laughs> Why do I love feeling like this? <laughs> <laughs> what? It was nice. I, I was. That was nice. Barry Williams 70s music uh, celebration. Ooh. That's uh, 
Anything? I don't know if there's any other... That one would... clip? Maybe it's a, uh, a newer show. It is newer. No one uh, YouTubed uh, their own videos that they took that I don't day? know if anybody in that audience has even got a cell phone yet. Oh, oh you're thinking maybe the jitterbug? <laughs> yeah. I carry a jitterbug phone in case my bursitis acts up and I fall down. Yeah, this is, oh, this is from like the Brady Brunch. The Brady Brunch was that was huge. Less, less than a year ago, was still being performed. Well, let's see. Yeah, what, but he the finally Barry moved on from that. He had, to, he had to mix it up and get a new show going. Yeah, he did. This is uh, this is a little Brady Brunch. All, All right, right, let's see what this was about. Barry Williams. Mr. Barry Williams. It comes on the Johnny Bravo. Best. A, bit, a lot of smoke from a smoke machine. Yeah, but the smoke isn't really moving around too well. We tried on that jacket. Yeah, we, we brought the jacket into NEW too. What is he doing? I don't know, he's doing a little uh, Greg Brady dance. In Branson. He comes out with the Johnny Bravo jacket on. He just yeah. shrugs and goes, hey, it still fits. And yeah. everybody's going, he must just be saying that for our show. It's not like he's acting spontaneous <sighs> like this every single Yeah, night. well, that's what you do when you put a show together. Opie, Ooh. you you literally... Woke happened? up Greg Brady. Yeah. Someone needs to figuratively wake up Greg Brady. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, nah, he moved on to the 70s show, well, though. Okay, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. If people were buying tickets. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a disco inferno, it's what? crazy. It's good stuff. It is. What? I'm not fucking uh, fronting. Oh, music celebration. Are these the other people in the show? Yeah, Stephanie Haygood. Oh, okay. Haygood, you blow me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jeremy Rabe. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at Dana. Dana Courier. She looks a little chubby, but she's got giant tits. Yeah, she sure does. Yeah. Matt Snow. And she's got like a 70s headband on. Right, man. Uh, early they, they 70s. Got the 70s thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, you, you know, you want to see Greg Brady uh, during that 70s thing. Burn, oh, baby, burn. burn. <laughs> Yeah. Do, do Greg Brady Day for music coming oh, back? Oh boy! Um, what kind of selection you got? Yeah, we could do that. I have the complete works of the Return of Johnny Bravo. Yo, if what? I if I don't get another cup of coffee, I'm gonna flip some shit. Uh oh. Get the boss some coffee.